Well, you're talking in general terms. You're not talking. Uh, what I'm talking about specifically, yes, you're, you're, you're correct in a sense that the substantial, the, the special counsel in his report found substantial evidence that the president tried to change McGahn's account in order to prevent, and this is a quote, further scrutiny of the president toward the investigation. And, quote, the special counsel also found McGahn is a credible witness with no motive to lie or exaggerate. So what I'm asking you, then, is that a credible charge under the obstruction statute? We, we felt that we felt that that episode, the government would not be able to establish obstruction. The, if you go back and you if, if you look at the um, the episode where uh, McGahn, uh, the president gave McGahn an obstruction uh, an, an instruction, McGahn's version of that is quite clear. And in, in each time he gave it, which is that the uh, instruction said go to Rosenstein, raise the issue of conflict of interest, and Mueller has to go because of this conflict of interest. So there's no question that, that, that the, whatever instruction was giving McGahn had to do with conflict of, Mueller's conflict of interest. Now, the president later said that what he meant was that the conflict of interest should be raised with Rosenstein, but the decision should be left with Rosenstein. On the other end of the spectrum, uh, it appears that McGahn felt it was more directive and that the president was essentially saying, push Rosenstein to invoke uh, uh, a conflict of interest to push Mueller out. Wherever it fell on that spectrum of interest, the New York Times story was very different. The New York Times story said flat out that the president directed the firing of Mueller. He told McGahn, fire Mueller. Now, that, there's something very different between firing a special counsel outright, which suggests ending the investigation, and having a special counsel removed for conflict, which suggests that you're going to have another special counsel. So the fact is that even under McGahn's uh, and, and, and then, as the uh, report says and, and recognizes, there is evidence the president truly felt that the Times article was inaccurate and he wanted McGahn to correct it. So we believe that it would be impossible uh, for the government to establish beyond a reasonable doubt that the president understood that he, that he was instructing McGahn to say something false because it wasn't necessarily false. Moreover... McGahn had weeks before already given testimony to the, uh, to the special counsel, and the president was aware of that. And as, as the report indicates, it could also have been the case that, what he, that he was primarily concerned about press reports and making it clear that he never outright directed the firing of Mueller. So in, ter so in terms of the request to ask McGahn to memorialize that fact, we do not think in this case that the government could show corrupt intent beyond a reasonable doubt. Just to finish this, but you still have a situation where a president essentially tries to change the lawyer's account in order to prevent further criticism of himself. Well, that's not a crime. So you can, in this situation, instruct someone to lie? No, it has to be, well, to be obstruction of justice, the lie has to be uh, tied to uh, impairing the evidence in a particular proceeding. McGahn had already given his evidence, and I think, uh, I think it would be plausible that the purpose of McGahn memorializing what the president was asking was to make the record that the president never directed him to fire. And there is a distinction between saying to someone, go fire him, go fire Mueller, and saying, have him removed based on conflict. And what would they that, have different results. What would that conflict be? 
Well, the, the difference between them is if you remove someone for a conflict of interest, then there would be a, another, presumably another person appointed. Yeah, but wouldn't you have to have it in this kind of situation, an identifiable conflict that m made sense, or else doesn't it just become a fabrication? Well, this, now we're going to shift from the issue of uh, writing the, the, the memo or somehow putting out a release 